Dermatologist reacting to your skincare videos. I put Neosporin on it. Did I already say that? I don't know. I'm PMO. Do not use Neosporin on your pimples, your cuts, your burns. Neosporin is notorious for causing an allergic contact dermatitis. Use Vaseline for a cut or wound that's not infected. If it's infected, of course, your dermatologist or your doctor. For pimples, don't apply Neosporin over them. You want to talk to your dermatologist about topical medications that are meant for spot treatment, like topical clindamycin. Over-the-counter-wise, you can consider salicylic acid, benzoyl peroxide, or hydrocolloid patches, but don't put Neosporin on it. it. Might be causing a red rash around the lesion you're trying to treat. A lot of times, it gets misdiagnosed as an infection, and it's really just your body reacting to the neomycin in the Neosporin. Got my first tick bite. We didn't have tweezers on hand, so I carefully pulled it out with my fingers. I was okay, but it's good. I know you don't have tweezers on you, but last resort is using your fingers. So try to have tweezers on hand as much as possible to remove ticks because you don't want to grab from the back on the belly because you might squeeze the belly, have it regurgitate the contents, especially the Lyme disease causing bacteria, Borrelia burgdorferi, it's a spirochete bacteria. We don't want that being regurgitated back into the skin. Now what you want to do is get a tweezer, grab as close to the skin as possible at the mouth and pull straight off, don't twist, don't use Vaseline, don't smother it with peppermint oil and do not light it with a match. When you're hiking, try to stay on the path, wear your insect repellent and protective clothing.